world's preeminent designer of escape rooms. To get the most out of your game, we recommend following all posted rules. In a race against time, this man faces a deadly puzzle. Will he survive? Frantic, he follows a cryptic map. He finds a green book directing him to a clock. Discovering a hidden code, he enters it. But the door remains sealed. He enters the code, but it doesn't open and dies. That is not the end of the story. Three days earlier, we met Zoe and her nerdy friend who talks about complicated math stuff. Then there's Jason, successful at his investment job, receiving expensive gifts from his boss. Lastly, there's Ben, a guy with a dull job, who gets sent out by his boss instead of a promotion. Each of them is given a strange cube that they discover is a puzzle. Upon opening it, they uncover a voucher for an escape room offering a chance to win $100,000. In the elevator, she meets Danny, a keen escape room fan with a concealed phone. Upon reaching the waiting room, they encounter Mike, brought along by his nephew. When Amanda gets trapped, Danny realizes they're already part of the game and they must work together to find the combination and escape. The torments begin as they find out that their lives are about to be at risk. They have found that the secretary is not human, but a recorded machine. Just as they begin to process this revelation, a call instructs them to obey the rules, plunging them deeper into the nightmare. The room temperature turns into boiling point. Blinds sealing shut, heaters blazing, trapping them in a deadly inferno. Amanda's skin sears with burns, a cruel reminder of the danger they face. Desperation sets in as they search for an escape route, their senses heightened by fear. In a stroke of luck, Zoe uncovers a hidden mechanism, revealing a duck that offers a slim chance at survival. With adrenaline coursing through their veins, they gather makeshift containers their hands trembling as they scoop up water to douse the flames. As the room threatens to engulf them in flames, they make a daring dash for freedom, squeezing through the narrow duct just moments before the entire room erupts in a fiery inferno. In the next room, Amanda tries to call the police, but there's no signal. They need to find a key to escape the cabin. Then they encounter another lock with seven letter word requirements. While they search for clues, Ben recalls a past drunk driving accident. After a thorough search, they find the word to unlock the door and exit the cabin. However, it's snowing outside, and the wooden door closes shut. They consider breaking the glass windows, but it's too cold, so they continue their search for more clues. Jason stumbles upon a mysterious lock, while Zoe uncovers a cryptic message hinting that True North is a lie. Their discovery deepens as they find a jacket with a hidden compass and a fishing rod with a hole containing a key. With quick thinking, they use a magnet to retrieve an ice cube with the key inside. But tragedy strikes when Danny falls into the icy water while searching for a lighter to melt the ice. Despite their efforts to save him, they're paralyzed by fear and helplessness, and Danny tragically succumbs to the freezing waters. Reality crashes down on them as they realize the gravity of their situation. Instead of brute force, they opt to melt the ice with their body heat. A desperate bid for survival as they struggle against the biting cold. Jason's mind flashes back to a chilling memory of freezing on a sinking ship, a foreshadowing of the horrors to come. Their ordeal deepens as they unlock the door just before the ice gives way, plunging them into the next room. An upside-down bar, a dizzying maze of danger. Amidst the chaos, a phone rings, a song fills the air, and they face a door with no handle, setting the stage for their next trial. As they scour the room for clues, Amanda's keen eye spots a safe hidden amidst the chaos. With meticulous determination, they piece together a puzzle, unlocking the door with the handle obtained from deciphering Morse code. Yet, their victory is marred by tragedy, as Amanda doesn't make it out alive, succumbing to the relentless trials. The remaining survivors press on, only to find themselves in a room mirroring the scenes of their past accidents. A chilling realization that their ordeal is far from over. 
as Jason grapples with the knowledge that they are being manipulated, the true horror of their situation begins to unravel. Each step forward plunges them deeper into the twisted machinations of their captors, leaving them to wonder if they'll ever escape the clutches of their deadly game. As they progress through the rooms, eerie connections to their past begin to surface. The song playing in the bar triggers memories of tragic accidents. Ben's friends swimming away, Jason's boat sinking, and Danny's family dying in a carbon monoxide lake. With time running out, a TV countdown adds to the pressure, and Mike discovers sign language in X-rays. Zoe's panic leads her to destroy the cameras, while the rest devise a risky plan involving a heart rate machine. Unfortunately, Mike's death inadvertently opens the door. In the fifth room, tensions rise as Ben accuses Jason of his friend's death in the shipwreck. Despite Jason's confession, they focus on finding clues, leading to a struggle over an antidote. Jason's fatal injury complicates matters, leaving Ben to proceed alone. In the final room, Ben faces off against the Game Master, ultimately emerging victorious. However, the victory is short-lived. As the police investigation reveals disturbing truths, Zoe realizes they're still part of the game, plunging them into another terrifying ordeal. Months later, they reunite, haunted by the events. Zoe uncovers a sinister plot involving the deaths of their companions, leading them to Manhattan. The plane journey takes a terrifying turn, revealing a shocking twist. They're trapped in another escape room, testing their survival once again. And thus, the chilling saga of the escape rooms continues. We're ready for game time.